Welcome to another episode of an Average Ass Podcast. Uh, it's your boy Dev. To my left, we got Zay over here. Uh, to my far left, we got Tom Malone. Tom in the corner. Uh, to my right, we got a special guest. Uh, you know what I'm saying? San Antonio legend. Uh, Dub, Dub 02, however y'all know this nigga. Um, brought him on today. Today, we're going to talk about uh, uh, a lot of different shit. Uh, probably give y'all two podcasts. Um, but on this first one, with us having Dub, and we're going to kind of give you his credentials uh, in a little bit here. Uh, we really wanted to talk about uh, the city. So when we first, when I first decided to do a podcast, my first thing was like, nigga, how do I introduce myself? Uh, how do we let people know who we are? And so most of us have a San Antonio base here. So uh, we just kind of wanted to talk about the city, um, why certain shit happens, uh, why we feel like the city may be disrespected or whatever the case may be. Um, so first things first, uh, to kind of let y'all know about Dub, nigga born and raised San Antonio, uh, went to Judson. If y'all niggas know anything about San Antonio, y'all know how Judson get down. Um, and then stayed in the city, had multiple D1 offers, stayed in the city, went to UTSA. Uh, nigga out here in the league now. So uh, I guess my, my, my first question for you, the, the first thing I was thinking of is what made you stay and go to UTSA opposed to, to some of them other schools? Well, shit, first of all, I want to say uh, appreciate y'all for having me on. Mm-hmm. Um, no problem. You know, I like seeing everybody doing something positive. And, you know, a lot of people got their, vo- their voice needs to be heard. And, you know, they don't take the initiative to do that. So. A uh, big kudos to y'all for doing that. Appreciate it. Um, but shit, to answer your question, really, uh, I just felt like UTSA was the best fit overall for me, uh, football wise and academically wise. Mm-hmm. I mean, I went to some other schools and I, I just wasn't feeling it. And then you know, just having a chance to play in front of your your people, you know, a lot more than other people do, um, is shit, it's just a blessing, really. So, you know, that's what I chose at the end of the day. I just live with my decision. Yeah, and that's what I was wondering, uh, was, was if that really did have a play in it, opposed to more so than even just the school and then the, the it, scheme fit. It did, uh-huh. but, like, not as much as, like, the school and, mm-hmm. like, the football aspect of it. Like, you know, playing in front of my people was cool, but, you know, coming from San Antonio, you going to UTSA, niggas yeah. really weren't looking at that, like, you yeah. know, he balling or, you know, he going to do something good. They was kind of so, hating on it. Yeah, I kind of yeah. I kind of walked out on a limb with that one, and, um, you know, but everything happened for a reason. I'm a firm believer in that, too, so, mm-hmm. you know. Five years later is where we at. So how how is it when you I guess when you uh now being in the league, obviously uh people ask you questions, so it's like where you from? What what's the what's the uh I guess the reaction you get to San Antonio? Is it usually just like a eh? uh it's just like a oh that's what's up mm-hmm. or like a you, like yeah, oh, where the Spurs are? I'm like, yeah, <laughs> like it ain't like, you know, people yeah. ain't really eyes ain't raising like, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody eyes getting wide when you say you're from San Antonio. Uh-huh. I remember uh, I was talking to this one dude um, in the locker room. He was like, where are you from? I was like, San Antonio. He was like, but where are your people from? <laughs> San Antonio. <laughs> yeah. He was like, no, but where are your people from? I'm like, bro, San Antonio. He was like, for real? I was like, yeah, bro, we got black people out there, bro. It's an it's a, it's a urban community out there. I mean, it's not as big as the Hispanic community, yeah. but, you know, we got them. I feel like that's how niggas, be, uh, niggas really be thinking we out here, like. Straight Hispanics. Like we be me. riding horses and, and shit. Horses horses me. And no, shit. people think Texas is really like country, real yeah. deal country. Yeah, and like, country for real. I'm like, bro, San Antonio is the seventh largest city in the country. Real talk, like, man. Niggas be sleep. A whole bunch of land. Seventh largest <laughs> city in, yeah, the, in the nation. That's how I see it. Because, I mean, coming from Chicago, I mean, mm-hmm. before I moved down here to San Antonio, I didn't know what the fuck I was walking into. First thought, I'm like, these, these, they probably just probably cowboys out here and <laughs> shit, man. Like, like bro, riding for horses real, and shit. People really think that's here, bro. But, I got here and, and it, it kind of changed my whole view on San Antonio. First of all, um, it is a lot more urban, but coming from Chicago where I see a lot more black people, mm-hmm. yeah. I came here and I felt more of like a minority because mm-hmm. it's like, it's so many more Hispanics here versus like black people. So I felt like, damn, man, like I just felt like small, like yeah. compared to like everyone else that's that's here. And based it's crazy because when I'm in Cincinnati, it's like, there's no Hispanic people at all. So it's like, know. yeah, it's like, I'll be waking up trying to get some breakfast tacos and it ain't, it oh, ain't. niggas it, probably don't even know what they, they don't is. know what they are, bro. No, people like, I don't, didn't know what it is. Bro, people do not know what breakfast tacos are, bro. I've never had a breakfast taco until I moved down here. That's fucking bro, crazy. Real talk, I feel like my bro. first breakfast taco was like six years ago. That's, real talk. That's a different type of life. I know you, Zay, you done lived in multiple places. Um, so I guess for, for you, I know you, you come down here, what, 14, going to high school? Um, so you still kind of grew up here, but but what was that like for you, I guess, um, comparing it to other places that you lived at, uh, how San Antonio was, I guess, to your expectations? It's kind of like a mix of everything. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't really have any expectations when I was about to move here. Because yeah. I, in, I lived in Vegas before. Mm-hmm. I went to Kansas City when I was in, like, sixth and seventh grade. So in Vegas, it's like a bunch of Mexicans. Yeah. 
and then when I went to Kansas City, it's uh, it's just all black people. Um, so it's kind of like a mix of both. I got people from Wichita. Where is black I, niggas up there? Like, yeah, bro. We used to <laughs> stay in Wichita. For real? For real? Wichita is a great, a great. I think city. Wichita is like. It's great. It's great. It's, uh, it's like a it? great city. I, I like it better than uh, I like the the campus Wichita State. I like mm-hmm. it better than KU. Okay. Like, uh, is Wichita like? A whole bunch of black people there, like a hood nah, of Kansas it's, it's, or something. It's, it's more because I know like a group of black people from Wichita too. Depending <laughs> on where you at, it's kind of like a it's kind of like a regular city. If you're yeah. in like the better part of the city, it's more mm. white people. If you're in like the the, the southern part of Wichita, yeah. it's more black people. Yeah. But uh, that's where the nigga Arunzo from Wichita. That's where my pops is from. Him and his family, yeah, mm-hmm. my family. Friend. I wanted to go to Wichita State to play basketball so really? bad. Yeah, I either I, that or, or KU when yeah, I was like I used, a kid. I used to spend summers up there um, when I used to go up there with my grandparents and shit and. I ain't like it, but I mean, <laughs> it's all right. I actually went back for the first time in like over ten years, like um, this year mm-hmm. before I went back up to Cincinnati. Yeah, and it was like it was different. I ain't I haven't seen it in so long, but yeah, I miss mean, black people in, in Wichita and Kansas. <laughs> <laughs> and so I think I think that's probably for, for me. Uh, I haven't been in San Antonio since five, so uh, pretty much all my memories here in San Antonio. Um, but yeah, that's my San Antonio is such a melting pot. I feel like. You see so many different cultures yeah, out here. Yeah. Like when I when we were like watch like you'll be on social media and you hear about kinda like um not to say it don't exist here, but you hear about like a lot of racism and shit. I feel like that shit's not as big like in in a city like San Antonio. It's not it's not at all. Yeah. Like uh one thing for sure, uh Chicago growing up, it gave me a feel of like segregation. Yeah, definitely. For real. Because it was like a whole bunch of black people. I mean, I obviously wherever yeah. you go, you're gonna have like Certain areas yeah, where you see more and, like yeah, uh, uh, yeah like like more demographics in each community, but in Chicago it was like like people mean as fuck <laughs> <laughs> like, like for real like it's mean. So it was like if you stay in the hood and you go downtown to like where you see more like more like whites and Asians or whatever, mm-hmm. you kind of get mugged like what you doing in this area because we know you don't live or you don't usually come in this area. Yeah. It just it, it, you get a different vibe. And coming down that. here, it was like people nice. People just talk, mm-hmm. like they talk to you, they greet you, yeah. just out of nowhere. And I, I fucked with that most. That it seemed more of like just like a family community mm-hmm. being here in San Antonio. So, nah, yeah, I do, I do think it's really like a uh, a family vibe. But I've heard that shit, especially about New York niggas. Um, they come oh, down no, here. People up north are mean, <laughs> yeah, bro. It's like they different. It's, a it's different like that culture. in Cincinnati yeah, too. It's, it's a yeah, bro, a little bit. I won't say they mean, but yeah, you could tell it's like a different culture. Yeah. Like you said, like you walk somewhere, like mm-hmm. people know you don't usually hang out here. Yeah. Your type don't usually hang out exactly. here. They don't look you up and down. Like that's crazy. Because like, I don't feel stay like here in, too long. in Texas, the expectation, like you see your neighbor, it's like yo. What's, what's up? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Even if you just now meeting them or anybody. That's that country feel when people yeah. be leaving their doors unlocked and, and they would just come walk walking in like, what's up? What? <laughs> can never nah, do that yeah, shit. It is. Ever. So what I was, um, another thing I was I was kind of thinking about was, um, is San Antonio slept on? Is the city slept on? If so, is it warranted? Or is it like, you know, niggas is kind of just, just hating on where, where they at? And I guess kind of how I, 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 what I mean by that is, you look at major tours, nigga, and, like, niggas won't come to San Antonio, Texas. Ever. And we're the seventh largest city in, in America. Like, niggas will go Houston, Dallas, Austin, right. yeah. and then avoid San Antonio. So, like, why why do y'all think that is that, that San Antonio don't get the respect, uh, I, I guess, mean, nationally? Honestly, like, it's just, I, I think it's just because of our demographics. Mm-hmm. I mean, obviously, more than half the city is Hispanic. So, yeah. right. you know, a lot of people that we listen to are black, so they're not going to come down here. Mm-hmm. I think... Cole came down here a few years ago. And he did yeah, Cole show, coming like, down here uh, next month, actually. Yeah, I know, but he like now he's in. doing like you know AT&T yeah, he's Center. Doing, right, yeah, right, like, AT&T the first time he came down here doing the White Rabbit or right, something like right, that. Yeah, so yeah. It was like, like come on, bro. But um, mm. I should. I feel like that's why a lot of people skip San Antonio because they already know, you know, what I'm saying what they're gonna get. Yeah. I feel like Houston and Dallas. You know, that's you know that's 75 percent. Yeah. Urban. True. I feel like uh, San Antonio is definitely. Uh, somewhat slept on now that I'm here and I actually mm-hmm. live here and got to experience it. But mainly because it, it it's like nothing really big to like sell San Antonio besides the Spurs. Maybe if you get like a you know like a I say we damn <laughs> <laughs> but um uh maybe if San Antonio get like a, a national football team or something just to put more San Antonio on the map than just a basketball team. Uh Shit, I don't know, cause like when you think of Houston, you think of the Texans, you know, you think of the Rockets, you think of like how booming the city is as far as when mm-hmm. it comes to business. San Antonio seems just like a retirement home city, you know. Yeah, like, I think, and I think it's like 
I think the military got a lot to do with that because yeah, you know it's a lot of military too. here, bases here, and then like even like you said with Houston, like you think of the, those those teams, but you also think of the music culture out That's there. That's what I was you know about to saying? say. There's you like no of, type of tourist attraction yeah. really in San like Antonio. When you, when you that talk can, about like, Texas, like you know Houston pretty much has the music culture on yeah. lock. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, San Antonio, like you said, it ain't really known for nothing except for the Spurs. Right. That's and the that's the first thing I feel like niggas, um, like when you think Texas music, it's, it's Houston. Niggas think I mean, every nigga from Houston, every nigga from Texas sound like they from Houston. You're going to have chopped and screwed, slowed down music. So Not Travis. <laughs> we, we talk about that in the time. Travis is straight, though. Yeah. I like Travis. I, thank you. I, thank I fuck you, with though. Travis thank only you. because he's from Texas. Thank you. Like, that's the only reason why. I like his lane. I like his keep lane. That comment. He, got his, he got his own lane. I like, I like, you can keep I like, that comment, I like his, He in his own lane. I feel like that's why I want to Let see these niggas know that birds in the trap was cold. It's straight. That's going to take some convincing. but It's cold. I, I think um, I get a 7 out of 10 Oh that's nice I think, I think niggas hate on, on, on San Antonio though man um, I think right, Definitely I think even though we do have a huge Hispanic demographic If you look at Houston Houston got a huge Hispanic demographic mm -hmm. um, I mean shit all shit, the Texas Cali got a too? huge yeah, Hispanic yeah. demographic I feel like we got our pockets here in San Antonio Of, of, of uh, culture um, Of the black culture Like the northeast and the east side But for whatever reason I don't know why that shit ain't translated into uh uh, into a mainstream. I feel like most major states have like a, a city that's like the the butt of the joke. Yeah. So like in California, it'd be like Sacramento. Yeah, and I can see that. Yeah. That's North Cali, right? Yeah, Sacramento doesn't get the love that like L.A. Hell or, nah. or Oakland or San Francisco gets. Sacramento, you like oh. shout out to Mozzie. You'd be like damn, you wasting your California. Y'all miss Mozzie? Nah, I ain't never listened to. Him. Right. Check out Mozzie from Sacramento. I, I ain't heard that nigga. Those uh those niggas on YouTube, the minorities, they be putting on me you know, on a lot a lot of shit. Those niggas are shout out a lot of Sacramento niggas. And so when we was uh when I was coming up with this shit like all right what's, what the fuck should we talk about I thought about that Drake lyric that uh I always hear people complain about the place that they live uh, and then that all the people are fake and they got nothing to give and I feel like I feel like that's what niggas be on with San Antonio man like you know how many times you see San Antonio niggas do this or San Antonio females be like this and I be like niggas fake niggas everywhere it's, it's real niggas everywhere real but talk I feel like everybody just kind of not everybody but a lot of people put that negative energy into the air. So niggas feel like San Antonio ain't with it. I just don't understand sure. why people be so quick to like bad mouth it, but they don't want to put in the effort or the time to like change yeah. the culture or change the, the opinion about it. You know what I'm saying? Like you be that person, you know what I'm saying? Like right. it just it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Like that's I, like I said, I walk on the limb going to ETSA, but shit, like, you know, everywhere I go, like I'm gonna say two one oh, like that's yeah. what I'm repping. So And I seen that on a, on Twitter. I see you all the time on Twitter. Every time, like you see a uh, yeah, two one product, two one product, always, product, always, every time, because uh, you know I'm gonna do my best to you know, yeah. I, and I feel like you know, in San Antonio too, a lot of people don't support you until you own, yeah. like you know what I'm saying, like support the person that's coming up, and so you ain't gotta support them when you own. You already been there from the beginning, or you know what I'm saying, even if you ain't just there with them day to day, you know what I'm saying, you showing love to other people in the city because you already know that we don't get the love that we yeah. deserve. So exactly, you know what I'm it ain't gonna hurt you to, to show support. And, and San Antonio slept on. We got a few niggas in the league, man. We got a few niggas. We got in a the lot NBA. of people in the league, bro. Um, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my boy Slim. Just got drafted yeah. by the Seahawks fifth round. Finna get money this year. Shout out my boy Vincent Taylor, repping out of Madison. Shout out my boy Ramon uh, Richards. In L.A. Rams, shout out to Malcolm Brown, L.A. Rams, and that's just yeah, that's just off top. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like that's it's, just it's hella niggas in the league. We got niggas in the NBA. You got Clarkson, uh, Roberson, that nigga broke, but shit. Shout out <laughs> my boy Derek Kendrick with the Browns. <laughs> He's still in the league. Um, so I, yeah, I feel like uh, Arian Springs with the with the KC Cheese. It's just gonna keep Jordan Jordan shout Stern, out to Chiefs. KC shout Cheese. Out Chiefs. This nigga Chiefs fan, man. Chiefs trash. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, we out here. We making moves, nigga. I never understood that shit because. Every time I, on the time, I always see it on the timeline like when people take vacations. Yeah, it'll be longer than a week. It'll be longer than two weeks. They'll, they'll kind of like start talking about ah, I miss San Antonio. Like, yeah. I miss the normality of it, and like I miss like my regular schedule and shit like that. Mm. I've never been one to like because I've been to so many different cities. Even though I was a kid, you can't really fully enjoy it if you're not an adult. But it's like there's there's similar shit that you can do in every single city. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. just the, the the setting is different. Exactly. You can do the same shit in Houston that you can do here. Yeah, it's just, exactly. You might be around a lot of and like see, that's what, different people. That's what I feel like it is. A lot of people feel like, oh, if I move, like, people in San Antonio be like, oh, I can't wait to go. Uh, like, I'm going to move to L.A. Like, nigga, your life not going to change exponentially if you ain't doing nothing. Yeah. To, like, your life going to change here. Yeah. Shitload of rent. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you put in the work here, or maybe not even in the work, like, 
people just I don't know why they feel like San Antonio people are just like they kind of just tie their they yeah. kind of tie their bad experiences to their city yeah, exactly yeah, yeah. And and some of that even, shit could be your own fault like yeah. and people feel like they can't eat here I yeah. just don't understand that I'm like what? man why? You, bro I don't know I was talking to this one chick bro she was like yeah man I'm going to Houston because there's nothing here for me and I was just like well what you trying to do like yeah. you know it depends on what circle you mm -hmm. in you know you can eat you just got to know how to, how to it's right? like yeah, yeah. Okay. You know, if you're hanging around people in the hood all day, yeah, you're probably not going to eat. Man. Shit, like people another big motivated. reason why San Antonio might be slept on, too, is because, uh, honestly, the downtown here trash. It is. It's trash. <laughs> it is. That's what I was going to say. That, if there's one thing about San Antonio, if one thing about, it's the yeah. nightlife. It probably don't compare like, to, uh, to other cities. And that's probably it, yeah. Like the down, because I mean, like, where tourists go, they're going to always go downtown mm. just to see what it's like. Any right. city, yeah. just to see what it's like. And San Antonio's downtown just... Not that good, you know. You're just right. to be honest, because when people talk about it. going out, ain't nobody going downtown. There's no like, skyscrapers yeah. downtown. You know what I'm saying? People not really talking about going yeah. downtown. But shit, y'all niggas remember when uh, we went I was to just uh, about to say that to L.A. <laughs> I was about to say yeah. that. and the downtown of L.A. Wasn't. I think it was the wrong day, but still, it was a ghost town out there. It wasn't. Yeah, it, it, it was, was like a Saturday, nigga. Town. And I it was, was like, it was a ghost town. But the we thing is, last night, yeah, it was a Saturday. I feel like we. I don't know, like maybe because we're not from there, we didn't know the right spots and shit. We didn't know the right spots, cause like I doubt that. I mean, yeah, like we walked down the um, what, what do you call it? Uh, Hollywood Boulevard. Yeah, Boulevard. yeah, Hollywood Boulevard. We saw all the stars on the ground and shit like that, but mm -hmm. I don't know. I just feel like either that was the wrong weekend, <laughs> <laughs> or you know, hey, but that's what really it looked made a lot me feel better like, than, man, than like, downtown San Antonio. Niggas be bullshit, man. Niggas just be like. People just be trying to, like Zay said, I think they're just trying to get away from their negative experiences. So they put it on the city and they be like, oh, I'm going somewhere else where the people are, are, are different. And yeah, because you see women say all the time on Twitter, like, dog, I got to get away from the San Antonio dudes because I got to go to mess with the Houston dudes. Like, what I'm I mean, like, like bro, you going to get the same type yeah. of dude wherever you go. I can't country, 100% bro. agree to that. You just going to get different lingo. I don't know. Because I, I can't, I can't like 100% agree to that simply because I wanted to get away from Chicago. Bro. Yeah, like no, nah, I feel like I'm I like the vibe. Too. Shit, niggas be out there. The vibe, niggas dying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's you know what I'm saying a, a dangerous environment, yeah. different than you just bullshit. Not, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. You're not showing support or you, I don't True. know, getting bored or whatever the case may be. But I don't know. Nah, People like, just find excuses. You can never get bored in Chicago, nigga. It's, it's it's always something to do there. I mean, just like Zay said, you yeah. know, there's similar shit to do in 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 each city, just a different setting. But they're just like certain things in Chicago that's obviously, you know, just different compared I to San Antonio. Think, uh, and I want to go back to what Zay was saying, though. But, yeah, it'd be, it'd be girls on Twitter. Like, I usually see girls do it. Be like, I'm tired of San Antonio. I got to get out of everybody fake or blah, blah, blah. But, like, man, you can't be mad at everybody else because you got all these bodies or whatever the case may be. Like, that's, right. not, that's not the city's fault. You or, know what I'm saying? Or if everybody fake, Bad get some new friends. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if everybody <laughs> fake or you fake shit. Like, get some new friends. But trust me, niggas going to be fake wherever you go, so. Everywhere you go, bro. That'd be that, that ain't changing. That'd be that shit, man. But you'd be a better judge of character. Yeah, no, <laughs> real talk. Like you gonna blame the city, like you nah. Are. Everybody else fake shit. Might be you. You only what you surround yourself around, man. But yeah, I, you're a product I, of that. I noticed that shit really does hold weight. This um, people because they always be like San Antonio small market. I'd I be confused, nigga. Like you know, seventh largest city in the nation. How we a small market? But um, to to kind of bring it into some relevant shit, like with that nigga Kawhi leaving. Everybody's saying he want to leave because it's a small market and he can't market no. himself, which I think is some bullshit because you look at that nigga Russ. That nigga Russ marketing himself in Oklahoma City. You going to tell me San Antonio not more marketable than, than Oklahoma City? Nobody like, in nobody in any other state is wearing a shirt with a damn hand on it. <laughs> nobody is. It, it could just be the gear is, is kind of lame. I mean, because nobody in any other state. I'm saying that's why, I, yeah. that's why San Antonio sh should be the spot <laughs> for him because like... Niggas are gonna back you with that Boy, with, with gear like that. Niggas love that lame this nigga's shit. name is the Claw Man. That's such a trash nigga. <laughs> <laughs> like that's just not just because he moved to L.A. That's just not gonna all of a sudden be a uh, shit, man. Dwight Howard thought that he could do the same thing. Look what happened now. Uh, yeah, like he wanted to leave Orlando to be yeah. more marketable. Should have stayed in Orlando. That's where he should have where, where he was eating it. His career would have been so much better. And if he, he stayed been getting that bag, and he probably would have attracted more stars. And he would have been revered like over time. Eventually, yeah. like, yo. That's, that's his franchise. You gotta yeah. it out. And that's how I thought about Kawhi, man. That shit, you know, nigga can do what he want, get his money. I mean, but, uh, situation with Kawhi is kind of fishy, though, because I, I understand why he wanted to leave simply because of the vibe from the teammates. They bad mouthing mm -hmm. him and shit. It just all of the main thing with Kawhi, I don't like him being so goddamn mute. Like yeah. quiet and Me having. Too, like people and like, speaking on your behalf. Exactly. Like, nigga, speak like, up. It's, it's like, nigga, like, just speak up. Say what you want to do. Say what you want to say instead of all the speculation of right. your team. 
saying shit and you not saying anything. Make right. you look more like a bitch because you're not saying nothing. <laughs> yeah. No, real talk. It so does. So it's like, that's the only thing I don't like about this whole situation. Other than that, I don't blame him for wanting to leave. I mean, because it's like, the whole vibe with the coach, with the teammates, it's like, but man, be, before fuck that, this. Though, I like, get out of here. I, I feel like what, for him not to be on the court and shit, it seemed like he kind of already had that disconnect. Yeah. And he was already wanting to leave and everybody keep relating it. Oh, he want to be more marketable and I'm just like, I ain't got no, cause he don't, he don't, he don't even care about that. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm saying. He don't even care yeah. about that. Like, he, he always been low key, ball. you know? Yeah, he just trying to play ball, bro. Like, he don't, he don't care about the market. He's like, Kawhi, you ain't selling no shoes no matter what. You're not. You're not. Know you're not, like not I'm buying. not buying no goddamn yeah. shoe with a logo of my hand. Yeah, he don't <laughs> fucking talk, nigga. Like, how it's supposed to be, yeah. That's the thing. You can't be more marketable if you don't put yourself out there. Yeah. Right. Like, he don't talk at all. But I do think that that perception around San Antonio, man, is just that, yo, it's not a place that you can market yourself. It's just the older market, I think. <laughs> Even Tim Duncan, man, fucking mute. <laughs> Tim Duncan, yeah, was, Tim Duncan just, was a prototypical Spurs. Yeah, man, <laughs> he, you got to look at the the how the, the Spurs players and what they're used to, like mm-hmm. Tony Parker, Tim Duncan, Manu, David Robinson. You know what I'm saying? Like, except for, these yeah, dudes yeah, go yeah. anywhere else in the country. Like, they're not getting praised like they get praised in San Antonio. True. Like, San Antonio I still see. Legends. I just seen Ice Man doing uh, another car commercial. commercial. Yeah, yeah, like you be on them car commercials you know what I'm all the time. Like, come on, or bro. them fucking ATB commercials. <laughs> <laughs> this dude, like, come on, dog. Those niggas be bullshitting on That's them. That's one thing for sure. I don't think ATB probably seen. the best thing about San Antonio or South Texas. And, I'll say. I fuck with ATB. I'm glad hey, you bro, brought ATB that up. ATB is hard, bro. I fuck with ATB. I can't deal with Kroger, bro. Kroger's trash. About San Antonio, nigga. We don't really got too many spots there. Like, like, because I was thinking, like, you from Chicago? I know y'all got like Harold's Chicken. Like everybody know about here, oh, man. You and I ain't never even been to Chicago. Food? Yeah, nigga, we don't Boy, even got a Waffle House. Food yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, we don't, we don't even you got don't a Waffle, need house, waffle house. Fuck Waffle House. You don't. Have, you actually don't need that you shit. Go to Denny's. <laughs> <Imagine> <laughs> no, mean, no, but yeah. like you just need it as an option, though. You gotta have like even Austin got Waffle House. Like come on, bro. You need at least a couple. Can't they should actually one build either. one by uh, around here in this area. That should be booming. And then Samo, Samo got the Zaxby's. We just yeah, got a plucker. We got raising canes, bro. Do we have any we need that's, that's unique to San But honestly, though, though, like speaking on. Oh, like you saying like a, um, like a restaurant like, like like Chicago got Harold's Chicken, pretty much. Yeah. I feel like y'all's would be the the pretty much like the taco trucks. I'm, I've never really seen taco trucks. So I came down here for real. Like that's like a San know. Antonio thing to me. I've heard that we've been on like some of them little cooking network shows, like where they travel different places mm-hmm. to eat. I've heard we've been on them a couple of times. I've never seen them, but I don't there's know where another spot going to. too. It's downtown. They got like that famous big ass cinnamon roll. You know that, what I'm talking about? There's that bullshit at La Cantera that was on the oh, show. Oh, there is that shit at La Cantera. Yeah, um, they what? put a line out there every every, every day. day. Y'all niggas no, go to La Cantera yeah. any day. It's a line next to the. Uh, I don't know what it's called, it's but it's open next to the lids in the corner. Yeah, it's the lids in the corner. They they be out there, but nah, like I feel like we ain't got no, we ain't got too many spots. I mean, I guess ours are kind of more Texas. Yeah, uh, spots. Like, it's not that many spots. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it ain't finna be like no, like you said, like <clears throat> chicken spots. It ain't finna be no yeah. Frenchies or no. Uh, yeah, exactly. Houston uh, got Frenchies. Yeah, they got yeah. Uh, it ain't finna be no sweet Georgia Brown and nothing like that. So. I feel like San Antonio's limited when it comes to food spots, as far as like the type, like. Obviously, you know, like, you could find, like, little stuff here and there, but it's, like, the most popular spots is either you're going to get barbecue or you're going to get some Mexican food. Yeah, yeah See, the barbecue or tacos. That's half it. the city is Hispanic. So that's I'm surprised we don't food. got no no Mexican spot, though, that's, like, that's like, like everybody The Mexican spot? Yeah. I, mean, I mean, I'm about to say the best Mexican spots be, like, the homegrown. Yeah, like, yeah. The yeah. ones where the, the menu be in all Spanish. Nigga, on me. <laughs> on me. Let me get that kind of casado cheese. Yeah, you need a fucking translator to, to, to get some food. But uh, you trying to pull it off as Mama Margie's our spot, but I'm not nah, that's not our spot. Nah, I'm for it. Nah, I'm going for it. No. Not at all. <laughs> I refuse. No, no, no corporate Mexican restaurant no. is the spot. I, yeah. Nigga, I was really sitting there thinking about I this I learned that. It's like, see, that's another thing that was different, man. Because, like, tacos from where... In, in Chicago, like my idea of a regular taco was like a crunchy taco. Hard shell, yeah. hard shell. No, we don't call it crunchy taco. It was either soft shell or hard shell. Soft shell is a tortilla. Hard mm. shell is yeah. like an actual right. hard shell. Hell nah. And then like a regular taco, just a regular taco comes with meat, the cheese, lettuce, tomato, sour cream, and salsa. That's just regular taco on the menu. Oh yeah, yeah. Here, taco bill. Yeah, first I taco I ordered. <laughs> Here, first taco I ordered. Them niggas gave me meat. In a tortilla, I say, "Where the fuck is everything?" <laughs> <laughs> the they fuck said, "You ain't asked for it. Yeah. You gotta ask for it." And they, they say, "I had to ask for it." And then it, my order came out high. I'm like, "Dog, are you fucking kidding me? Like, like all I get is meat and fucking bread. Like that's, that's it." Shit. That's so much shit. That you I guess. On I guess that is some shit because I've been here since I was five. So this, you know, it's the place I remember. I don't. But niggas don't be having breakfast tacos, nigga. That's insane. Bro, crazy. I had to make my own. Yeah. I'm insane. That's fucking insane. And niggas is dedicated <laughs> to the most because you remember how uh, when we was at Velt, niggas always go to Benny's Tacos. Yeah, niggas. Benny's Tacos, tacos had like right an F school. minus on the health report. Oh my
because I, no. I don't trust any restaurant that doesn't change the building. That I mean, was on Walton, right? Yeah, if yeah, you just move it to the Walton? same building that another yeah. company was in, I don't trust it. Bro. I felt the same, but shit, I'll be at that bitch. I ain't gonna lie. People don't mess with Christians there. no more. I used to mess. Oh with Christians no, Christians was fired down Walton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used, to, I used to be over there. Uh, White, yeah. That's across the street from uh, CVS, yeah, right? It's on the Mid Crown. Yeah, it's right across the street from the uh, the CBS section. Oh mm-hmm. yeah, no, that I shit is I fire. A couple of times. I guess we got like little mom and pop shop, but none of them that have reached the. Uh, Those are the best ones. Though. Like Those we got Wayne's one. Wings. I don't know if you. you Wayne's, Wayne's, Wayne's Wings. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wayne's is shout out Wayne's, Wayne's, Wayne's best, shout best, out Wayne's best. Shout out Wayne's Wings. Best Wings in the city. Nah, that shit y'all is niggas, fire. Yeah. On me. Anybody best laxative it, wings you can ever have. Then you get that fucking. uh They smashing. You got that that the hottest wing. Yeah, I got the hottest one. The ghost pepper, bro. Tripping, nigga. Because I'm a real one, nigga. You was crying, wasn't you? I ain't no nah. Yeah. I was crying, if I remember. Yeah. Sweating and shit, man. Hey, man. I'm but a real it, one. It wouldn't, be, it wouldn't be San Antonio when we'll talk about Whataburger, though. That's just trash. That's Texas. You tripping, bro. I promise you, there's no restaurants up north, bro. All the okay, restaurants no, up north no, are no, trash, no, 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 no. I'm not Whataburger. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you. I am not a fan of the regular burgers at Whataburger. I like the specialty man. shit. Yeah. But. You hand me a, a, a regular double meat type. I would smack that shit in your face, dog. I don't need that shit, man. You that probably shit like Burger King or something. I be trolling. I be trolling that look, shit. Look, 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 look. <laughs> you like Burger King? Hey. <laughs> hold on, hold Burger on. King, dog. Like that nigga know. Uh, hey, y'all like Burger King? That's not the go-to, but I'll take I'll Let take Burger King over know. some McDonald's burgers. Oh yeah, McDonald's is Let trash. Let that nigga know that a, a regular Whopper is better than a regular Water Burger. I swear to God. I don't know, bro. It God. is. I'm I not lie. If y'all really mess with Burger King, have y'all ever had the tacos? I'm not eating. Y'all didn't Burger even King know. Tacos? No, I didn't got tacos. Tacos. It's, I only, it's, know only, it's only a select location. Them hoes fly or what? Fire. Fire? Fire. Tacos? Tacos? From Burger King? Bro, I promise Nigga, I'm about to try that shit. Bro, they only, okay. um, they serve them right here off of Days of Allah. Off of Days of Allah and at the, one, cheap at the too, one right? by Rolling Oats. Yeah, they like the Jack and Box. They like 99 cents. Uh, hey, uh, okay, no, no, no. The Jack and Box On them broke days, nigga? Hey, bro, that's what I'm saying. They better than the Jack and Box tacos, No, man. I promise you. I know them hoes is terrible for you, but, but I would tear up some Jack in the Box tacos. But both of y'all niggas chose In and Out over Whataburger. Right? Stop I do it. too. Right. I do. Eesh. I do. And it's 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 right. it's weird because I've been since I move around the city so much. You realize that fast food, same fast food chains, it'll taste, taste differently in different, in different cities. Hey man, they like my nigga Dom said, In and Out over Sonic any day without a doubt, nigga. <laughs> nigga, the the nigga, the Whataburger, the Whataburger by my mom's house in Temple. That shit is fire, nigga. What a burger fire, period. They make, they make, they make, they make the patty melts perfect. No, I mean, every like, the time, specialty burgers is good. Like, we come down we come down here. We come down here. Every time I get a patty melt or some shit or some fries, my fries be cold. <laughs> but, yeah, the patty melt be soggy and shit. I'd be like, man. That's the only thing water burgers do is improve their fries. They see, fry y'all never had burgers. checkers. Y'all never checkers had is trash, rallies. bro. I had rallies. Get checkers big Buford. Man. Man. No big Buford, man. Get out of here, man. That shit's better. What is that? You've been listening to too much Ross lately. That's all Come on, man. That shit's in Chicago. Yeah, man. We got one in Cincy. Yeah, we got rallies and checkers. Come on, man. Are you fucking kidding? Kidding me? Checkers is cold. I ain't never. I'd rather have that. White Castle than fucking water. White burgers. Castle, bro. Yes. Still haven't had White yes. Castle this day, bro. You need new yes. intestines after you eat White Castle. No, you don't. Bro. Bro. White Castle. Y'all niggas got. Have you had White Castle? I bro. just know you got water. That's the type of restaurant. Not the frozen, move, bro. nigga. I've had White Castle once. They made a movie off of White Castle. They ain't make a movie off of Water Burger. Give us some time. No, what it's time? Only, it's only a South thing. That's why White Castle's that cold. Nigga, it's cold. Nigga, when you was in Kansas, did you ever go to Gates Barbecue? Uh-uh. That shit is so fire. That's the best right barbecue that. in the country. I swear to God. In the country. In the shit, country, man. country, country nigga. Country. I'll be honest with you, too. I like I like Chicago barbecue better than Texas barbecue, too. I haven't tried that shit, though. What are you saying, Look, my nigga? 90% of my food preferences <laughs> is from it, Chicago. It's going to stay with Chicago. Yeah. It's a lot different here. I mean, I do fuck with the tacos more here than there after I got used to it because I figured that it's more like authentic. Mm-hmm. But barbecue, for example, I never had brisket till I came here. For really real. don't care for brisket that much either. Brisket fire. Brisket fire on me. Brisket fire. I've nigga. had very, That's very good one. brisket, and I've had very, very trash brisket to the point that I was like, eh, you got to get the. Uh, it's like a hit or miss. You got to get the thin cut. One thing, yeah. Uh, oh, and I don't know if you agree with me on this, but one thing I'm ashamed. That's, that's a Texas thing. Is Bill Miller's man? I don't fuck no, that's just trash. Bill Miller's. I like the tacos, I honestly. Man. I used to. I used to mess with it when I was younger, but like now that I've gotten older, like it's not the same. No, nah, it's not the same at all. I can't get down with Bill Miller's. Man. Another thing, even. ribs. We got rib tips in Chicago. Pause. Like not the actual yeah, rib. Not the actual slab of ribs. I mess with both. It's like them, I don't know, like they just cut them hoes up uh-huh. into like mini yeah, rib like tips. Little, like little, yeah. And like, I think they cut it like halfway, like before they're done. Uh-huh. And it just be, it, it's just like more tender. It's, just, it's great. I like it. I love it. I'm going to be thinking about good. the fact that you said Chicago got better barbecue than 
San Antonio. I mean, no, no, no. I mean, like, a lot of people might disagree. I'm just saying my (laughs) personal preference. I I just like the taste. Because, like, down here, it tastes more smoky. Yeah. And I'm not used to that. I'm more, like, charcoal. Mm -hmm. And, and like, from what I was told, like, the barbecue here is more just, like, wood. Like, Mm -hmm. they just, like, smoke that shit. Yeah. I'm used to charcoal. Put that shit on a circular grill charcoal. Not no big-ass barbecue pit. I ain't ain't used to that, you know? So. I feel like that relates, though, to, uh, to bringing it all full circle. And, and closing it off, it's just you know. I feel like home is always gonna be. Always, it's always be, yeah, exactly. That's what you grow up on. That's what you. Know. That's why I will probably put on San Antonio to the death. I need so, to find a jerk chicken spot here I and a mean. and a Chinese spot, a fire ass. I need Chinese a hood Chinese spot. spot. No, for real. It. Like the the you know with the fried rice and the fried chicken at the same. time. No, no, no. There's one around. Um, I heard there's one on Walsham now. Yeah, that's when me say, and uh, Nick went, it on the actually. Yeah. The east side. Oh, it's right it. next to that CVS, actually. Oh, for real? Yeah, that shit was cold. Might have to tra- take a trip. Sure, what's it called? Cookies. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot, but <laughs> I know where it's at, though. Because Panda Express cancer and that walk on wheel shit, I done got that, that shit. Do trash. not that shit hold the your orange the, chicken the, from the Panda. Um, like, nah, that's just not I don't bad. know if y'all niggas been to Houston, but uh, that's like Timmy Chan's. Timmy Chan's be Timmy Chan's fucking fire, man. That shit's terrible Chan's. for you, but that shit is great, nigga. A lot of fire is terrible for yeah. you, but that shit be That's good. That's the hood, the hood special, you. man. On me. Niggas got the fucking uh, bars on the windows when you roll up yeah, to that bitch. Right. That's how you know you about to get some, some good ass Actually, food, I just found this fire-ass fish spot. It's like this mom-and-pop fish spot off of FM78. It's called Basie's. Bro, you just now heard about Basie? It's not from here. That's I'm not tripping. even like a mom and pop. Spot, yeah, it's like it's a, I mean, it's they like a, a it's known in San Antonio. Yeah, yeah, they like got more than one. Yeah. yeah. Oh shit, I don't know, but yeah, shit, well, nigga, you're not from here, so. But I had uh, that shit, and that shit reminded me of uh, this fish spot back home called uh, JJ Fish. You no, know, Basie is definitely know about the, that. Are you Basie's trolling? Is definitely what? The, it's called JJ Fish. Like JJ Fish. It's hilarious. No, real talk. That's why. Is that nigga from there? I think he is. Like that's, that's where he funny. got his name from. That's funny. Ice JJ yeah. Fish, but yeah, it's called JJ Fish. That's, that's crazy. That's just but no, cool. Basie's is definitely the, the fish spot in San Antonio. That's just, on me. That shit was great. Yeah, Basie's fire, man. That shit was amazing. Because that, that shit's coming full circle. Because Ice JJ Fish, nigga, wasn't a Karen oh, B in her video? Yeah. In his video? His video. He shot, didn't he shoot that bitch here in San Antonio? Yeah. <laughs> People pay attention. To Shout out to Ice <laughs> JJ <laughs> Fish, <laughs> man. That shit is so childish. Not giving him no no energy. Nah, we need we need more. Everybody always saying like the the culture. I just feel like niggas just got to support where they from. You know, any nigga that's from, a lot of niggas from San Antonio, but like, I'm from Texas first. Yeah. Like, Tom, you, you from you from Chicago. You don't say you from Illinois first. Because ain't nobody them. respecting Yeah, niggas. you say I'm from Chicago. Like nobody ain't going. Yeah. Yeah, because like, say for example, uh, uh, like when I went to Hampton, and mm-hmm. there was people that would say they from Chicago, but they from like some suburban part. Mm-hmm. But they say Chicago because they know people's going to know that it's Chicago. Yeah. And not like Calumet City or, yeah. or like Riverdale or some shit. I'd be like, nah, nigga. Yeah, say like Riverdale, just, nigga. You're not from Chicago. Yeah. San Antonio don't hold enough weight, um, I guess, in the from the, the culture perspective. But I think that's on us to. Yeah, you gotta make it hold yeah, weight to be know? like, no, nigga, it's I'm, up I'm to from y'all, San Antonio. Man. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm from Start here. Start repping that like, shit. That's why I feel like you know people like artists, for instance, like from different cities, like they help other artists get on. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like people from San Antonio, they probably don't even eat in San Antonio. That's another like thing. Yeah, because like, most niggas leave and then... Who we got artist-wise? Yeah, I was about to ask I, that. Like, I don't know. Blake who's a major and, artist from San Antonio? That nigga Blake, that nigga Blake with, be getting uh, love. With, 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 with something with Diddy, right? I think so. I ain't never heard For that nigga real. say anything about San Antonio, though. I could be wrong. He probably don't. I don't I don't listen uh, to him. My boy I, Rob, you ever I heard of a group called Minus Gravity? Nah. They from San Antonio. For real? Uh, yeah, I went to school with uh, one of the dudes. He went to Justin. The other two dudes, I think, from they from the north side. They be eating out in Cali. They live in Cali now. Shit, they just signed man. with Capitol Records. Oh, shit. Um, That's so, moves. Yeah, they make moves. A lot of people mess with them overseas and in different states, but they don't eat in the city. See, man, like that, that's just another thing. I we mean, could have a nigga already on right now. It's like the talent that y'all breed. Like the talent <laughs> that y'all breed is so low key. Yeah. It's not like, I don't know, just like. Well, I feel like. Um, for me, for somebody that make music myself, I feel like if you come from San Antonio and you want to blow up, your music has to be like undeniable. Yeah, I feel like there's like ten niggas from Atlanta that can make a trap record and that whole might might take I mean, off because they're from Atlanta. And then right. you gonna have you gonna have the top dogs pushing them. Yeah, exactly. So like you gonna have them pushing like from San Antonio. It's almost I would liken it to how like when Drake hit and it was like all the all the things you had against Drake like this nigga is a simp ass nigga. Um, this nigga's from Toronto. He not a street nigga. But his music was so fucking good that you couldn't deny it. I feel like if you make it from San Antonio, you gotta be, you gotta be, you gotta good. be dumb. I don't know if it's just here because uh, I spent all my hip hop music listening years here mostly. But them niggas' marketing strategies are weird. Like nigga, spam spamming my DMs is not it's not the move, it's not the way. Like, stop doing that. But not the way. Um, if they if they just had like a more creative way of like marketing themselves, yeah. 
um, I feel like there'd be a lot more like intangible music to listen to. Because even I'll listen to this shit sometimes. <laughs> you gotta, even you if it's also think, like, you know, if where are people going to do shows in San Antonio? Yeah, that people talk, go to, true. like, you know, if you're talking about going out in San Antonio, you only hitting a few spots, and the spots that you hit, and they probably don't have no type most of live Yeah, most niggas got to, like, take, no shows. take the band to Austin and shit On and do me. some shows. Yeah, so yeah. it's just like... Maybe of, San Antonio got to find, like, some type of, like, sound. Like, you know, like, Chicago artists sound. have, like, this unique yeah. sound where you, like, yeah, you know, I don't know. It's like, they just got this unique sound. Atlanta, obviously, yeah, got this yeah. unique sound. Houston, obviously, got this unique sound. Maybe San Antonio don't have that unique sound where it's like it's good enough yeah. to go viral. And I guess San Antonio sound is going to end up being Houston's. Yeah. Everybody That's what Dallas is. Or like a derivative yeah. of it. Yeah. yeah. Dallas is more like, I they feel try, like Dallas is like more dance. Jig. Yeah, yeah, they are. They trying Niggas to dance. always yeah. jigging, man. Always. They got dances <laughs> and bad Dallas hair, bad wild, haircuts. Man. But hey, man, <laughs> no, that shit go them, viral, though, you know? On me. Like, that's a know, Dallas That's like some unique shit. That's their thing. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, I don't know what San Antonio is. That's another thing, nigga. Do you think, I don't think San Antonio niggas. Which is not something that you have to do. I don't think San Antonio niggas are willing to risk their integrity to make it. Because, you know, niggas will do a lot of, like, weird shit that's clickbait uh-huh. just to get, you know, some clicks on the, on the, on the songs and shit. I don't yeah. think niggas is ready. I don't think niggas are ready to know. do that shit. Every nigga, though, like you said, every nigga in San Antonio, like, when I hear about them wanting to make music, they packing up the band. They, they going, going to Austin, Austin yeah. They're going to be at Six. They, I mean, they're going to be at South By. Um, trying to promote their music because that's where it's going to be. Shout out to South by man, I'm, I'm gonna be there again next year. I've been going like for the past three, four years. I've um, never been. Straight. I already lit though. That's just dope. I ain't it's never dope. been either. All these years. Yes, you have, right? Now we was out there that, that night, but I didn't go. Um, oh, you didn't go walk that night. That's, that that's just dope, man. Wild, it's, it's just like the whole experience. Like, see, that's another thing. Like Austin have like. Festivals and shit. Yeah, Festivals no, and Austin shit. is different. Like San Antonio is like beginning to have that because yeah, like that Mala Luna shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The first Mala Luna was dope. Second Mala Luna, they had Future, fucking mm-hmm. Migos and mm-hmm. shit come here. These big artists don't usually come to San Antonio. At all. So it's like, you know, like maybe like it's San Antonio coming. is like picking up some space. Yeah, it's coming. Some I think pace, it is. Because I, I think I read some, and I could be wrong on this. We had to do a fact check. But I think I read some that San Antonio grew the most out of almost any city in Texas over the last year. Houston actually lost. I mean, it makes sense because of yeah. the hurricane, but. Right, San Antonio growing, man. It, I used to think that San Antonio got hated on because we didn't have, um, like, we don't got a beach, we don't got uh, the it's landmarks. a lot of land. Though. But when you look at Austin, it's like this is the same. It's the same shit with Sixth Street. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's but it's the same type of you know. Um, Austin just got like that geographic layout. Okay, number one, Austin has a lit downtown area. That's true. That's a big tourist attraction. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's that's gonna sell a deal on any. City, yeah. you know, if the downtown is lit, people's gonna want to come there, and then two, you know, there's a lot of festivals to sell there, and they got this hippie type of yeah, they got a feel, a very distinct hippie vibe. Yeah, it's funny that you say that because like in Cincinnati, like that's all people go to is downtown, bro. I'm sick bro. of cin- downtown Cincinnati, bro. Like they don't have no other areas mm-hmm. in the city to go out to. Like you know, I hear you be north side, so it must be lit old. there, you yeah, know. But yeah. every week, niggas downtown, but right. um, like you know, like you said, you from San Antonio. Honestly, I didn't go out downtown my first time until like a couple years ago. Like, nobody really go downtown like yeah, that. Yeah, I didn't even know it was a thing. That. That's what I I'm mean, saying. the thing is that if you go downtown, like for example, like on first Fridays, it'd be packed. Yeah, but, but that's, it's not something that takes my mind away. Like, oh shit, I gotta do this every Friday. No, it's like, it ain't, it ain't nah, that type of vibe. It's just like a, something to do. Yeah, it's just yeah. something to do. Yeah. I think I think um, what's what's gonna bring it together though is um, San Marcos. I think San Marcos is gonna end up getting so. Uh, so big that eventually it's, it's going to be like you don't even notice you just travel from Austin to San Antonio. And I think it's that's, like, like that's how I feel like when, yeah. like when I drive back and forth. Mm-hmm. I mean, you drive to the north side, yeah. it's 30 minutes. You drive to San Marcos, it's 30 Seven minutes. Miles, yeah. Yeah, so so I think like, eventually Austin and San Antonio, they're going to they gonna kind of mesh together almost. It's 30 minutes and get every fucking way. Yeah. On you know me. But shit. I didn't realize how big it was until yeah. I really got back. Because like in Cincinnati, everything was close. Like five minutes, 10 minutes, nah, I'm yeah, you there. Taking, you taking 30 minute drive. Yeah, right? I average a 30 minute you take car road drive trips. when I'm in, it's a, when yeah, I'm in the car. It's a distinct feel from different parts of the city. Distinct Definitely. feel, dog. Northeast is, that's black, dog. On me. That's why it's it crazy to me niggas say such a, uh, a heavy Hispanic population when I, when I was growing up because I was like, I see a whole lot of niggas over here. <laughs> yeah, a lot of them. <laughs> like, but you got to think, we don't really go outside of the Northeast yeah. region. Like, when I first moved out to UTSA, people used to ask me like, was like, what do you do out here? Mm-hmm. Like, they, you know, I'm from here, yeah. so they like, 
they think I know everything. Yeah, I'm like, bro, like, I don't come nigga, to North Side, bro. Yeah. I've, I've been to Six Flags maybe like once. Yeah. You know, I've I don't been really, twice, nigga, my whole time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, nobody comes to the North Side. I don't really talk to North Side people. And you just stay where you at. Yeah. yeah, I'm on the Northeast, and we getting how we how we get it. But shit, hopefully the you know, hopefully the city can come together. I just I wanted to talk about that shit because I was like, man. Niggas be hating, dog. San Antonio's a cool place, man. It's gonna happen. It's make, you gotta make the most. I, had, of I definitely at. have a more uh, appreciation for it since I've been in Cincy. Yeah, definitely. You can definitely see it. I can uh, definitely appreciate San Antonio simply because um, it's chill. Yeah, it's chill, man. And it's like if I wanna, you know, have a thrill, then I could just go to Austin. Austin, I feel like you still got yeah. away, you, you know, you, you readily got access to all the shit. Yeah. That, you could get from other major cities. That's what I like about like San Antonio. San Antonio. It's, it's, speed, like, it's, it's just like chill. It's, 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 it's more relaxed. That's what I noticed when I came back from uh, from L.A. Uh, in Hawaii just a, a couple weeks ago. I was like, man, I miss San Antonio, dog. This shit chill. Like, it's the best thing about it, yeah, you know? It's you just can, chill. You can move easy. It's only so much traffic and glamour that you can yeah. take in one city. It took me 45 minutes to go seven miles in L.A. Yeah, <laughs> yeah bro. I heard, heard me about home. the L.A. traffic, yeah. bro. Heard That's just terrible, You can get from one side of town out here to the other side in like 25 minutes. Say, get me home, man. It's some shit. It's actually terrible. Bro, the speed limit is like 50 in Cincinnati on the highway. That's, That's how it was in uh, so annoying, bro. That's, That's how it was in Honolulu, yeah. She was like 50, 55. 50. That's annoying, bro. I'm like, That's FM doing, 78, bro. That's, yeah. That's a wall zone. Yeah. yeah. Like, let's fucking move, yeah. Come on, bro. But shit, man. Yeah, I think that's overall, man. That's what I wanted to get across for for, for me was, man. Y'all niggas put on from where y'all from, man. Always. You got to. But uh, y'all niggas got anything else to add before we end this? Uh, shit, man. Shout hey. out San Antonio. Man. Shout out San Antonio. It's Shout coming. It's two coming, ten. man. Shout out Chicago. <laughs> Shout out <laughs> two ten. Two ten development, my nonprofit organization. Shout out to that. Oh yeah, real talk. Nice. Putting on. But shit, yeah, that's been it. So. Hey. Tell your friends you, you you didn't enjoy your time here. Tell your friends that you enjoyed your time here. But you've been tuning in another average ass podcast. See you later.